Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're making rice puff salad. I'm trying to redeem myself from the last rice puff salad I had made the last time. That wasn't on YouTube, of course. But my, my aunt, my cooking, used to make the most best rice puff salad. And what I think I did wrong was that I made it with long grain rice. I think she did it with short grain. And in this case, I was able to find medium grain rice. So here I'm rinsing it. Some people rinse their rice, some people don't. I rinse my rice and I look through it for rocks and everything. This is two cups of medium grain rice. Okay, here I added three cups. Of the pork stew, well, a vegan pork stew. The liquid from our vegan pork stew to the rice, and I'm gonna let it sit for two hours. Just make sure you put it through a sifter so nothing goes through other than the liquid from the stew, okay. And we're gonna let it sit for two hours. And if you want, um, for the recipe for our vegan pork stew is in another video, and I will put that link here in this video for you guys to watch. Okay, so the rice has been sitting for two hours. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grind up um, this green plantain. And once it's all grounded up, um, we are going to add it right into the rice and mix the rice up. Be careful not to um, scrape your fingers against grates because um, that hurts really bad. Okay, so I added the ground up plantain to the rice mixture and I stirred it up. Okay, so now that the rice is ready, we're going to lay down our paper and our banana leaf. And then we're going to um, spread some achote oil on the leaf. And now we're going to lay down our rice mixture, put a tablespoon of rice and spread it out. You don't have to put a lot of rice because the rice expands. So just um, like a, a tablespoon of that and just, you know, spread it out. It doesn't have to spread out across the whole leaf. So that's about one tablespoon. Next we're adding up in pork stew. A nice healthy filling with that. And in this um this kind of pasta is normally you don't put like olives or um uh chickpeas like alonzo beans. So we're just gonna put a little bit of rice on top just to cover the the vegan meat. And now we're just going to fold it over and wrap everything up. I have a video specifically on how to wrap pastelis. And I'll leave that link here for you guys um, if you're interested in watching it. And at this time, I already have a pot of water boiling. A pot of salt water boiling. Uh, when you make this, it's time for you to cook it. Put a pot of water to boil. Add some salt. 
once it's boiling then you can add the pastelas into the water um, you can also just freeze these guys until you're ready to use them okay so here I'm grabbing the second pastelas when I'm done doing this I'm gonna tie the two together and by that time the water should be boiling and I'll just place them into the water And again, one tablespoon of rice. You don't want to put too much rice because it expands when it's cooking. And then a nice healthy spoonful of the vegan pork stew. Add just a little bit of rice on top of the vegan pork just to cover it. And again guys, I'll add that link um, in the video here on how to wrap pastelas. So you can check that out if you need help with that. I'll also leave the link on how to make the vegan pork stew. And here I'm just going to tie the two up together and uh, just make sure that the water is boiling before I put them in. Okay, so I'm going to put the pasta in carefully and let it boil for 45 minutes before I take it out and unwrap it. Don't forget to make sure that the water is salted. Okay, so it's been 45 minutes and I'm getting ready to cut uh, the string and unwrap everything. Remember, the string, <laughs> the paper, and the leaves, just discard them. Get rid of them and um, just enjoy your pastelis. Put some hot sauce on it, or whatever you like. I'm gonna have mine with some avocado on the side. Also, be careful opening them because, as you can see, they're piping hot. They look beautiful. They came out really good. I like them much better with the, the medium grain rice as opposed to the, the long grain rice. The color is really pretty. It's not as dark as it was the last time I made it. Um, so I am going to stick with this recipe here. It really tastes good. I hope you try this recipe and if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up please subscribe uh, don't forget to leave your questions that you may have and I'll be happy to answer them thank you again for watching the video I love and appreciate you guys I'll see you soon have a great weekend